Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to some more Life is Strange. And welcome back to our lovely channel. It's Crafty Summer Huggy here. And let's just resume our gameplay. Okay, so in the last part, um, we just had a confrontation with uh, Zoe's step troll. I don't really want to use her power, because um, I'm actually quite happy with the response we got. Um... Let's just go ahead, and let's come out the window, and let's just complete the episode. Um, so yeah. I'm honestly really happy about how these episodes are coming out. They're about four parts, they're about four episodes long. Oh. I think I'm having some technical difficulties here. Right? Am I having any difficult difficulties? Hello? Okay. It's in the game. Um, I'm just going to just turn off my... Maybe? No. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had some slight difficulties. But we're back anyways. And we're just going to go straight to the next scene. Let's go! I haven't been here in forever, so why do I feel like I was just here? Oh, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Alright there guys, so here we are at the lighthouse. There's this little squirrel little here that I want to point out, because we have some really me. funny dialogue Stand here. Up. Um, now I have a bird somewhere here too that we can take a picture of. Here's the birdie bird. Hi, birdie! Don't mind me, I'm gonna take a photo of you. I got you. Pretty birdie. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else I can take a picture of. Um, do you want to try to get all the achievements? I can go pretty far. Um, this is where I can go, though. Let's investigate this fence, though. Probably has no information. That fence is part of the landscape now. The path behind it leads to the parking lot. Oh. Day use area only. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. Don't feed the Sasquatch. Don't feed the Sasquatch. They should. Stay away, white man. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any more pictures here. But I want to cook look at my journal. I really I really like this, like right here, I really do. Um I think it gives you a whole bunch of new information about each character. So we have Rachel here, uh I mean, like, honestly, you know, Rachel looks like a stunning woman. Like, oh my gosh, she's beautiful. And then we have things like the principal, Warren, Chloe, uh, I feel like Nathan, too. Um, so also we have something about here. You know, that kind of fun stuff. Um, over here we have all of our pictures that we actually took in. Um, I am, I have to take all these pictures, too, because, yeah, I, I missed quite a few, actually. <laughs> All this fun stuff, too. Just fun. Kind of like a Google Maps, actually. <laughs> oh, I actually got a call from Victoria. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Okay, bye, bitch. We don't like you anyways. Why do you have my fucking number? That's my question. Why do you have my number, Victoria? You don't, we're not even friends. 
Okay, so mom just texted us uh, saying happy birthday. We are 18 years old. Uh, and Max sent, um, sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales? Is this true? Well, first of all, it's the truth, mom. Uh, the principal said this was a serious false charge and he was worried that you're- that he should call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Oh my god, no! That is real! Mom, why? Okay, cool. Obviously your mother does not love us. <laughs> or does not- Ugh. People can be such pigs. Can anybody scream out, um... A corrupt school going on? Corrupt principal? Ugh, corruption is everywhere nowadays. Okay, let's go upstairs and let's go meet Chloe up on at the top of the lighthouse. Oh my god, Warren. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. I still feel horrible that he actually took the beating for us. Um, you know what, the guy so actually... Lucky. They can always escape. You know, if I was actually in that position, I would probably, um, you know, not, um, you know, I, I'd probably go on a date with him, actually, just, especially, especially if he's, like, in, like, especially since he's obvious that he, like, likes me or something like that, I would probably actually, um, go with him, like, you know, like, actually go on a date with him, because, you know, because, that takes a lot of fucking balls. <laughs> it really does take a lot of fucking balls. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and speak to Chloe. You sure you don't wanna be alone? Sit down if you want. Okay, are you pissed at me? Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. He is a step I'm sorry douche. To experience it firsthand. You have to I would him. feel sorry if I had this. Has he always been this way? <laughs> he went like that. Where's dad? His to our home. I never trusted David. He freaked out on Kate. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well... Yeah. Well, yeah, I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Oh, that's just other ugh. Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. <sighs> Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Mm -hmm. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's, What's Nathan's secret? secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. He drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe, I can't believe this. This is horrible. I, mean, like, I do. It just, like... I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up, and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. Max, it was insane. Like, that is beyond some oh, fucked up shit so going on. Up. What did you <sighs> do? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. 
ficou com isso. Something's going on. We're getting to that weird shit again with the storm. Like, I would be freaking sh like shitting myself, horrified, like, in this kind of situation. And there's the doe. There's the deer. So let's follow that deer, and let's just hope that nothing bad happened. I really wish I could walk. Like, a lot faster than what I can. Oh my gosh. Rock, go the fuck away from me. Okay. Okay, game. Cool. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. Oh, okay, cool. Wait, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, um... You guys don't know, I'm actually trying to, um, kind of keep myself away from this weird-ass bullshit, um... Yeah. And uh, here comes the frickin' lighthouse. It comes down, and now we have to frickin' stop it from coming down on me. So I can go get to- so I can go get to the dough. And just trying to save as much time as I possibly can. And then we have to read this- oh fuck, no I don't want to. Let's read this. Fuck. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're oh, here. That hurts so hard. Oh my lord, this is okay. Crazy. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. We just saw it. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? <laughs> How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. Wow, well, this is some like really viral. deep shit. It okay, really is. You're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it, and I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. Yeah. 
here comes the freaky ass snow. <laughs> it's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, Big storm. Start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Poor Kate. She makes you like want to stop so much. She really does. Alright there guys, so this has been the end of episode 1, um, thank you guys so much for watching, I will come back with you guys next week for a second episode, episode 2, um, and yeah, like honestly, I already kind of said my first thoughts about this, um, but my first thoughts really, because this is actually my first time actually really seeing episode 1, um, <laughs> You kind of know what you kind of know you're in for with this game. When you actually first start playing it on episode one. Um, you get it. you're in a lot of fucking shit. Like this is insane. Okay, the guy like like you're in some really crazy shit going on in this up in this in this game. Um, so yeah, no, but all I have to say is that I absolutely love it, and I'm really hoping that I can post more videos for you guys in the future, posting on this game. Um, I'm hoping that I can have all the episodes all up to the Chaos Theory done before episode 4 comes out and um, yeah. So I will, so let's just go ahead and yeah. So this is actually all the choices that I've actually made in the game um, and it does have some sort of uh, reflection. Um, so it says that I reported Nathan. I comforted Victoria and said I made fun of her, and I guess I kind of—I guess we get more points. Um, I'm pretty sure. I intervened to help Kate out. I stayed hidden instead of helping out to intervene. Um. So yeah. And then I didn't let Nate. I didn't let Daniel draw my draw my portrait. I didn't. Uh, sign Miss Grant's petition. Um, I helped out Alyssa when she got hit with that football. I didn't erase Kate's slate. I didn't even, really, I didn't even notice Kate's slate. Um, I didn't water my plant. I didn't touch uh, Dana's pregnancy test either. Um, you know, I just kind of came in for the, for the purpose of getting my flash drive, and that was it. Um, I didn't touch. I didn't touch Victoria's pictures. Um, I didn't write on a dirty RV. I didn't even take a picture of the RV. I let the bird die. And I didn't break uh, Zoe's snow globe. I didn't leave any evidence. And I read through David's files. Because he did some really fucked up shit. So, <laughs> yeah.
All right there, guys. So in the next part, I will be starting episode two out of time. I hope to see you guys then. Bye there, guys.